In this short animated video, we will talk about one of the most fascinating concept in statistics and mathematics, and that is the law of large numbers. Have you ever wondered why the averages tend to stabilize over time or how the chance and the probability play a key role in our day to day lives? How is this happening and what is this law of large numbers? We'll look at all this in this short video. So please stay tuned. Don't go anywhere else. Just sit back, relax and enjoy this beautiful video on law of large numbers. So let us understand the concept. So before that, these two common terms, law of large numbers and the central limit theorem. These two are very closely related concept in the probability theory. But yes, they do differ as they describe the different aspects of probability distribution. In statistics, the law of large number theorem, which talks about that as the sample size increases, the sample mean of the observed value tends to get closer to the expected value or the true population mean. And this happens due to sample being more representative of the population as the sample becomes large. On the other hand, the central limit theorem talks about that as the sample size increases, the sample mean will be evenly distributed. This is often depicted as a bell-shaped curve where the peak of the curve depicts the mean and even distribution of the sample data falls to the left or the right of the curve. This also means that even if the individual's variables are not normally distributed, the distribution of the sum or the average will tend toward the bell shape normal distribution as the sample size will increase. Therefore, the law of large number relates to the peak, the mean of the curve, while the center limit theorem relates to the distribution of the curve. In simple terms, the law of large number focuses on the convergence of sample mean to the population mean, while the central limit theorem deals with the convergence of the distribution of the sample mean to the normal distribution. Imagine that you are flipping a fair coin. You know that there is a 50% chance of getting a head and 50% chance of getting a tail. Assuming that you flip the coin 10 times, in a fair coin, ideally we should get 5 heads and 5 tails. Now to demonstrate this law of large numbers, we'll conduct a series of coin flip with different sample size. So for first, with sample size of 10, if we flip the coin 10 times, we record 7 heads and 3 tails, resulting in a 70% proportion of head. For next 100 flips, we increase the sample size to 100, that leads to 55 heads and 45 tails, resulting in a 55 proportion of heads. If we increase the flip to 500, we get 268 heads out of 500 flips, resulting in 53.6 proportion of heads. Lastly, if we increase the samples to 1000, we get 515 head out of 1000 flips, resulting in 51.5% proportion of heads. Now let's take an example of a fair dice. For a single roll of dice, we'll get six values, any of six values, either one, two, three, four, five, or six, each with a probability of one by six, resulting in a 16.67% chance. Again, we'll conduct a series of experiments with different sample size. Now we roll the dice again for first time for 20 times. We get uh, four sixes out of 20 roll resulting in a 20% proportion of 6, 6. Next, we increase the samples to 100. This case will get 19 sixes out of 100, resulting in a 19% proportion of 6, 6. Next, we increase the samples to 500. We get 90 sixes out of 500, resulting in a 18% proportion of 6, 6. Next, we increase the samples to 1000, which result in 168 uh, sixes out of 1000 and with proportion of 16.8%. Right, so in the first case flipping coin example, as we increase the sample size, we observe the proportion of heads obtained from coin flip tends to approach the true proportion 50%. While in the second case for dice in this, the proportion of sixes rolled tends to converge towards the true probability of 16.67%. That is one, two, three, four, five divided by six. 
So the larger the sample size, closer the population gets to the expected value. So again, summarizing that as the sample size increases, the sample mean of the observed value get closer to the expected value of the two population mean. This means that larger the sample size, closer the proportion gets to the expected value. This is the concept of law of large numbers. That is why this concept is very much important in statistics. The law of large number holds under certain conditions. So we'll look at all those key conditions that is required for law of large numbers to apply. First, independence and the identically distributed variables. So the random variables in the sequence must be independent of each other and identically distributed. Independence here means the outcome of one variable does not influence the outcome of another. And identically distributed means they follow a same probability distribution. The distribution of each variable in the sequence should have same shape, mean and variance. Second is the finite mean and finite variance. The random variable must have a finite mean. This means that expected value or the mean of each variable in the sequence exists and is a finite number. And for random variables should also have a finite variance. Variance measures the spread or the variability of the distribution. It ensures that the fluctuation in the values of variables are not too extreme. Next is the large sample size. So law of large number holds only when the sample size is sufficiently large. Independence of observations. So law of large number assumes that the observations are independent of each other. This means that the outcome of one observation should not be influenced by the previous or the future observations. Last but not the least, the random sampling. So the law of large number assumes that the observations are randomly sampled from the population. So these are some of the key uh, points for law of large number. So if you are still watching this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do press the bell icon for all the notifications from digital e-learning. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button as well. Share this video with all your friends and colleagues. And in case if you have any suggestions or comment, do let me know in the comment box below. Now is the quiz time on this topic. First question. The law of large number holds when? The sample size is small. The variables are not identically distributed. The variables are not independent. The sample size is large. Second question, the law of large number states that as the sample size increases, the sample mean approaches the mode of the distribution, the median of the distribution, the population mean or the population variance. Last question, the law of large numbers relies on the assumption that random sampling, random assignment, stratified sampling or convinced sampling. You can leave your answers in the comment section below.